Hi loves, Jay here with your March 15th to April 15th tarot predictions for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, or if you have Leo anywhere in your chart. Cross watchers are also welcome. Thank you all so much for tuning in. If you're old or new here, welcome back and welcome to the community. Be sure to stick around to the end so that you don't miss your final outcome. And if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, all of my info is in the description box below. I'll be channeling spirit messages throughout this reading. So let's tap into your collective spirit insights, which are your spirit is saying, see right through the eyes of me. This makes me feel like you guys may have lost faith in something and Spirit is reminding you to see through the eyes of the universe that everything's going to be okay. Almost feels like someone, someone has stolen something from you, possibly even money for some of you. Um, you never have to be alone again is also what I'm hearing. And be patient as you navigate this phase or a situation that you may be going through in your life everything is going to pay off leo okay so we're going to get all of your cards out here and see what is coming up for you for this time frame messages for leo we have the seven of cups The Prince of Disc, the Universe, the Princess of Wands, the Knight of Disc, the Moon, and the Nine of Pentacles. All right, so we have two major arcanas here with the Moon and the Universe. Makes me feel like fears may have been coming up for some of you, and some of you are needing to get grounded and connected, but I definitely feel like that insight that your guides and angels are giving you for this time frame is to um, is to be patient, is to be patient through what you're navigating through right now and everything is going to pay off for you, okay? So your overall energy for this time frame is the seven of cups energies pisces cancer scorpio you can have this in your chart or you're dealing with someone of this sign here but seven the seven of cups so i do feel like there's a lot of things on your mind there's also a lot of opportunities there's a lot of projects that you're delving into that some of you have multiple jobs as well there's a lot going on i do feel that Overall, you guys are going to be enjoying the fruits of your labor, but I do feel a sense of illusion coming up for you as well. This makes me feel like some of you are spending more than you actually have. That's what I'm picking up from this Seven of Cups energy here. But there is a, there, there's some travel involved. There's a lot, or this could be you just daydreaming about traveling or things changing in some way for you. But I'm going to pull some clarifiers around this to see what else is coming up. This is definitely pointing to there are some opportunities on the table. There may be choices that you have to make about something. Okay. But you're searching for something. All right. Let's see what is coming up for you. <clears throat> we have the hangman that's coming out for you. I'm hearing from this hangman that you're you were blinded by something. You're gonna like you're blinded by something, and this may be this may be an opportunity for you to step back, step away from something, so that you can see something very clearly. Okay, because I I do feel like there's you're in a growing phase right now, Leo. But I'm feeling a I'm feeling old patterns resurfacing for you for some of you, and it's creating. It's, a, it's creating a bit of conflict in your emotions, possibly even in your relationships. So definitely feels like something may be resurfacing for you. Let's see what's, what else is coming up here. I'm also feeling like a very tired energy as well. Okay, so overall, maybe, you know, some of you have been out just playing, having a good time or you know, doing too many things and maybe your body is needing a little bit of a rest uh, during this phase. 
So some of you are, like I said, needing to take a step back. So this is a time for you to pause or let something go so that you can, it's almost like so that you can revamp your energy so that you can refocus your energy on something. We have the Four of Swords. Yeah, definitely pointing towards you needing to take a break, relax, take some time out to, you need to contemplate a decision. You need to contemplate a choice, contemplate some opportunities, contemplate some of the people in your life or people that are entering into your life. But it definitely feels like something. Some of you just recently went through some sort of heartbreak is what I'm feeling. And this is the reason why Spirit is asking you to take a break. So this may be, this may be um, a message for those of you who are jumping from relationship to relationship is to take some time to get to, to know yourself um, as you're navigating this phase or this situation. You know, things are going to pay off, but you're going to definitely need to be patient during this time. So that's what I definitely feel is like some sadness or heartbreak that has come up for some of you. You have you grieved something. And I know we've talked about in past, relation, um, past readings, um, it's a relationship. You guys were, some of you were leaving behind a relationship. And some of you are still mourning you're mourning something. So spirit is asking you to take a step back, take a rest, take a break from dating and just really begin to date yourself here, Leo. That's if this is your story. Okay. So taking a step back from that, we have the seven of wands. So this is, it feels like a constant battle for, for you. This is what I'm, what I'm feeling with this energy that you're, you're going to be feeling challenged or you're feel already feeling uh, already feeling challenged about something because you're indecisive or there's too many things on your plate. This is why you got, you're going to need to take a step back away from things. Just do what's best for you, Leo, but definitely taking a step back from something because it has been hard a hard fight for you. And whether this is a relationship or we're talking about your finances, it has been a struggle for some of you been battling against oppression and like trying to stand up for what you believe in or trying to invest in energy into what you know will work um, at some point, but it hasn't been working out for you right now. But spirit is saying that it's going to pay off. And some of you are just, again, I'm going to reiterate, taking a step back so that you can really regain the strength regain the passion and the love and the drive that you have for whatever this is so that you can start anew on a different path but possibly towards the same end goal so that you it, it's it's like a refresher you need a refresher because some of you are just too engulfed in the energy and you may be even forcing it pushing it away okay so that's what i'm feeling in your overall energy let's see some obstacles or an obstacle that may come up for you during this time, we have the Prince of Disc that is coming up for you. So this feels like things that are going on behind the scenes here. This could also be, I'm feeling like a boss energy. I'm feeling like someone who sort of annoys you. <laughs> That's what I'm getting from this person. Like, this person annoys you in some sort of way. I'm going to pull some tarot around this, see what's coming up. Why is the Prince of Disc here in the obstacle position? Yeah, I don't know why I'm feeling that annoyance coming from that. So <laughs> challenge an obstacle for you. Uh, we have the Justice card, so Libra energy here. We also have Queen of Swords and... The Princess of Cups. Okay. So let's see what's coming from this energy here. I'm hearing I need to make a move. So I don't know if that means that you're making a transition from a job or a career, a new industry, or you're relocating somewhere. Some of you are being, feel like you, you're going to, feel like you've been treated unfairly. That's what I'm feeling from this. I feel like someone is always down your throat, on your back, watching over you, trying to see what you're doing, how you're doing it. It's like, um, it's very calculated, uh, hovering energy that I'm feeling. Um, 
this it, this energy is interesting because I'm feeling more of a work environment issue or a financial issue for for you in this obstacle position that it, it feels like a lot of things are coming down on you or people are pointing the finger or you're to blame for something you're not meeting deadlines there's something that's coming up that feels challenging for you where you're just like I got to get out of here okay and this is probably this overall what the overall energy means is you taking a step back you taking a break a pause or just completely leaving this behind because I'm hearing it doesn't make sense okay so I don't know what doesn't make sense to you but I I, I feel that obstacle coming up where you're definitely challenged by someone or something and it just feels uncomfortable to you this is a lot of um, I'm looking at the justice and the queen of swords this is a lot of uh, it's a lot of feminine energy here so maybe you could have um, no I don't want to go into genders I was going to say a, a female boss or something or there's just there's something I, I feel like it's a person that we're talking about though for sure that is there's just Someone has a lot to say. There's a lot of communication between you and someone. And, I, and I'm feeling for you, even with the Princess of Cups energy, I'm feeling like tears. It definitely feels like a challenge for you, Leo, in something. Tears coming out of this, this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy with the Cups here. So this could be an emotion that you're feeling. This could even be a person. But yeah, there's, there's feels like a lot of energy going on in the obstacle position. But... This definitely points back to you needing to take a break from something or from someone. All right. The universe is uh, where you're headed during this this um, this time frame. And this is the world. So some of you are relocating. You're even traveling. Some of you are also leveling up in some sort of way. So this could be, I, I just feel like you're moving up. Some of you are climbing the ladder at work or in a career as you change industries. I feel like it could be a more lucrative for you. I do feel like you're supported in way I, you're supported for sure by through or by the universe here. But um, I definitely feel like I'm definitely feeling like whatever challenge that you have been faced with is forcing you to a level up in a major way. So we have the we have the alchemist. So look at that. Yes, yeah, so you're definitely manifesting something. And um, I don't know if again some of you have been manipulated in some sort of way. And it is it has forced you to open your eyes to move past move past move past something. The two of swords. Some of you have been trying to make a decision on um, which direction is going to be best suited for you. And again, whether this is a relationship or a career, you're definitely making a decision about going uh, uh, in another direction, okay? So the Eight of Swords is also here too. So some of you are feeling trapped in something that doesn't feel that great. And I feel like you're you're trying to manifest something. You're, you're trying to manifest something through the universe, whether that is emotional stability, you know, or financial stability, whatever this is. For you, Leo, I definitely feel it's going to be a level up or whatever you have been uh, asking for, praying for, you're, you're going to be receiving. Remember, your, your spirit inside at the beginning was saying this phase or this situation that you're currently going through, be patient because things are going to be paying off. So this is you reaping your rewards at this point because some of you have been feeling stuck in something and you're like, I got to move past this. I know that a way will be made. The universe card here is saying a way is definitely going to be made. It may feel challenging at times, but things are about to unfold in a very beautiful way for you here, Leo. So remain patient. Okay. So that's where you're headed. What's coming towards you is the, um, the princess of wands. So this could be a person. This is actually your energy here, princess of wands. So I'm feeling more of a creative, fiery energy that is coming from you. So I feel like after you move past this challenge, whatever you've been battling, I feel like a freer spirit that is coming up, that's coming towards you. Let's see. Let's, let's pull some clarifiers.
we have the Three of Wands, Two of Wands, and the Three of Cups. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, but this all adds up to the number eight, which is about manifestation and wealth here. We go three, two, three. Okay, so it's a little bit of the back and forth, but I definitely feel like there's a change in a career or change in a relationship. Some of you are finding your independence, and there's just a very fiery, passionate energy that I'm feeling from this Princess of Wands, as I've said. Um, a very free-spirited person. So some of you may be um, changing industries and going into something that's completely opposite of where you were. <laughs> So whether that is, you know, dancing in some sort of way, some art uh, uh, form of art that you may be going into that that you feel very passionate about. I'm feeling like it's almost like a situation of leaving your nine to five, leaving a corporate job and really investing your time and energy into what you're passionate about. And then that becomes lucrative for you. So whatever you've been waiting on is definitely coming in for you. And I feel like you are going to be very open and receptive to whatever is coming into your into your life and this is an abundance of happiness and joy celebrating so you're you're celebrating with people or you're just celebrating your life in general so i do feel like a lot of travel coming up this makes me feel like whatever you've been working on leo i feel like a lot of abundance a lot of manifestations of financial stability prosperity abundance all of this is coming to you and I just feel like a freer energy that is coming from you. You're like, I'm free. I have freedom now. So whatever you've been bogged down uh, by, I feel like you've escaped that because you were feeling trapped. Some of you were feeling trapped in your mind and some of you were just feeling trapped in a relationship or a job and you moved away from that. And now there's this lightheartedness that is coming towards you where you're feeling like I'm feeling free. I feel happy. I feel joyous. I I want to I want to share the wealth that that I have here. Okay. So this is a definitely a really really big blessing that is coming into your life here, uh, and it's it definitely reason to celebrate. Definitely reason to celebrate everything that you have gone through and where you're headed and what's coming towards you. So what's happening for you in your near future, we have the Knight of Disc that's coming up for you. And I just feel like it's a lot of people. <laughs> the you know, the the Knight of Pentacles is a is a a person and this could this could be your energy and this could be someone else, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy, but I, it feels like an an innovative an innovative uh idea that is coming up for you, or this could be someone who is very innovative. It almost makes me feel like a business partner. Like this feels like you collaborating with someone who is um, innovative, trustworthy. They're hardworking. They are dedicated to their craft. And I do feel like you're like, yeah, I want to jump on board because I feel like you have the freedom. You also have the financial freedom that's coming up for you. So I feel like you're going to be delving into different things. So some of you, I say you may be getting into some form of art. That could be cooking. That could be dancing. It could show up in many ways for you here, Leo. So let's see what is coming up for you. Why is the Knight of Disc here? We have the Four of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles, and then the Tower is coming up for you. <laughs> so let's see what this is about because when that Tower comes up, people are like, <gasps> like, can't catch your breath. So let's see this uh, with this Knight of Disc. Um, I definitely feel that this is a person we're talking about with this Knight of Disc. This could be um, some sort of foundation that you're setting so that you can grow your empire in some way. You are definitely creating legacy and stability in wealth. But as I said already, with that um, in the last in the last position with the number eight, the three two three adding up to the number eight and creating a wealth and manifestations and blessings coming into your life. Okay, so this tower, the tower card here makes me feel like things things are. <laughs> this could be a revelation. This could be a revelation, okay? Because I was going to say things come crumbling down, but I really don't feel like things are crumbling down. Um, for some of you, maybe that may be the case, like you losing things and starting over. But I'm do, I do feel like 
whoever this person is that's coming to your life, this Knight of Disc energy is someone, again, who's inventive, who they're innovative, they're trustworthy. They're helping you get back on your feet. So this could be an intimate relationship. This could be platonic. This could be an investor, whatever this is. But it's putting you in a position to um, be able to save, create security, create long-term wealth here. So that's hap what's happening in your um, very near future. Your advice for the month is the moon energy, Pisces energy here. This makes me feel like you just being open to um, different ways of doing things, being um, feeling a shift in you as well. I'm, I'm also I'm feeling like an energy of you letting go of things, you letting go of some of the fears and um, the things that you have been through. Like you're withdrawing from that. Remember, we had that hangman earlier, which said you need to take a break, so you take a pause, let go, and then just surrender to the divine. And knowing that everything is going to pay off. We have the devil, the princess of swords, and then the seven of pentacles. Okay. I'm hearing stay away from people who don't enhance your life. I feel like some of you have already had the lessons around who's good for you and who is it. And spirit is saying... Let go of people who do not enhance your life. This is why the universe is asking you to see right through the eyes of me. Okay? Me, meaning the universe. See right through the eyes of the universe. So this makes me feel like you guys um, are very well connected consciously. And you can see right through people initially. So don't let these people into your space is what Spirit is saying. Because people will try to find their opportunity to come in, especially as you're building wealth and life is looking up for you, Leo. There are going to be different energies that are going to try to come in to have a little piece of the pie. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Seven of Pentacles here. You okay? This is these are things that you've been working on. You you things that you've accomplished, and you will not have anyone come in and take any of your investments, any of the things that you've been working diligent at because they're what curious about something I don't know but um, this is an opportunity again for you to just slow to slow down and watch your things grow and watch you know some of the people in your life and if they are even meant to be in your space at this at this time this is a, a card of pay attention Pay attention to the details. Pay attention to what people are saying. Pay attention to how people are moving. I feel like light is going to be shined on some of that during this month, during this phase for you, okay? Some of those things that you've been fearing, some of those things that some of the fears have been letting go, and you already know what you need to let go of, but there's been a fear, but there's an opportunity for you to let go of that during this time frame. Your, oh, your um, final outcome is the Nine of Pentacles. And that is just an energy of abundance and wealth that is definitely coming into your life. And you being able to sit back and enjoy the financial freedom, enjoy the wealth and the happiness and the abundance because you've worked hard at it. These two came out, um, these two came out reverse, four of pentacles and six of pentacles. Very interesting though, because that it equals the ten of pentacles, the six and the four, which is Abundance. So you move from the nine to the ten is creating a long term stability and security for you and your family. Queen of Wands energy, your energy. Um, I do feel like there's an energy of you being more charitable, you being more open, you being more giving. You um, I'm feeling even nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself, taking care of your home. But this also makes me feel I'm looking at the Queen of Wands and she makes me feel like a, um, an energy of. Free to do what you want. Your passions, your desires. I feel like you have more time. I feel like you have more time for yourself, for your family. That's what that feels like. You, you have more time to invest in the things and the people that you love because you've already worked so hard at uh, crafting a life of success and abundance. And that doesn't mean that it can't be snatched from you because I did hear in the beginning one of your spirit insights was someone stole money from you. Um, but I definitely feel like you're taking back 
something, your freedom, your power, taking back the love that you've put out, like you're receiving all of this good energy back. So I definitely feel like this is going to be a time where you can just sort of sit back and bask in your glory, bask in your freedom, bask in your manifestations and the blessings that are coming into your life here, Leo. So that is your reading. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of the month and I will see you guys soon. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell, like, share, comment below. Take care, guys. Many blessings. Love and like it. Peace.